This is Stuart Clapper from Auto Leave. Stuart, tell us what Auto Leave is. Auto Leave is the largest automotive safety supplier in the world. We, we're the biggest supplier of airbags, uh, seatbelt restraints, and we're getting very heavily into active safety products. So today that, that means radars that we put on cars, vision cameras, night vision cameras, and braking systems. Wait, night vision cameras. So that is this. This is a night vision camera and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna move over here in front of the camera and you can see me holding my phone and waving to you. <laughs> and this is what this is what Auto Leave builds. And where can a consumer find this technology? Okay, it's available on BMWs, Audis, on Mercedes vehicles like the S-Class, on Rolls-Royce, Bentley, and soon to be available on the Cadillac CT6. Mm -hmm. And you said that uh, in coming in 2017, we'll actually see it available in a more mid-range car? Yeah, the first one that we're introducing on will be introduced. But you can't time tell time. us what car can't, that's going to be. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't reveal the secret <laughs> they, just they'd yet. They'd be very unhappy. So Stuart also has another video that I'm going to show you. And this is what the auto, auto leave night vision system looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit there for you. Oh, you saw the deer run across. So you can see here this, um, the, whoops, there we go. So you can see here, that's the night vision. And then this is really what the car is seeing. So if you were driving, you would be seeing, you would be seeing this, but that's the night vision. So tell us how the night vision system works, Stuart. Okay, it's a, it's a passive far infrared system. So what that means is it doesn't see light at all. It only sees very small temperature differences in the scene and, and creates a black and white TV-like image of the road ahead using the thermal profile of what's on the road ahead. So it just is a heat sensor and it can see people yeah, people are usually hotter than the environment. Now, it doesn't matter if they're hotter or colder. It just There just has to be a difference. And you only need about a tenth of, of a degree difference in the scene to be able to depict different things. So it can see animals, it can see people, if it can see other vehicles? Other vehicles. You know, if there was a rock that was in the middle of the road, it probably got heated up somewhat by the sun. And at night, it's sitting in the middle of the road. It would look like a hot object sitting right in front of you on the road. That's, so, um, and how far ahead can it see uh, from the car? Yeah, uh, well, you can see all the way to the moon, so just to give you an example of how far you can really see, but if you're looking for pedestrians or animals, typically three to four times further than your headlights are, are allowed to see. Uh, it will actually provide an alert uh, up to about 100 yards down the road, and it's usually you get start to get the alert when you're um, in danger of hitting a pedestrian or an animal. So where I might not see, say, a deer on the road until it's 10 feet in front of my car, this might see it 50 or 60 feet away from the car? Oh, much further. Much that. further than that. And it will give me an alert of, uh, that there's a deer in the road or on the side of the road. Correct. You, you, would, you can see a field of deer that it could be a mile down the road. And you can see that there's a big field of deer out there and you would know, hey, there's deer out there. If I continue to drive on this road, it's possible that I might hit one eventually. So uh, it's a good indication. And then it will give you the alert about, like I said, about 100 yards down the road. And so who are the consumers or the drivers who this technology is really gonna help out? Well, in reality, it helps out everybody. You know, people, as they get older, they feel like they have more trouble seeing at night. This would give them a chance to see better and go out and enjoy the night when they might be afraid without the technology. But in reality, your headlights are not as good as we think. And what you, your eyes can, you think you can see with your eyes, it's not that good either. So the reality is every driver will, in fact, benefit from, from using this system. Thank you so much for, for uh, spending a little time with us, Stuart. We appreciate it. All right. Thank Thanks. you very much, Scott.